And this is actually going to be a little bit thicker than the EXA um, formula, but it's also still pretty light. It's not like a heavy, thick, cakey formula, um, but there's sunscreen in this. So there's a little bit more of a, like a thicker formula there because it's doing more. Um, and I love this so much. I use it every single day um, for my, my everyday makeup, um, especially because I just love how it um, translates on the skin. I'm going to go ahead and grab my foundation brush show, so I can show you guys. And I've showed, the, showed you guys this in the past, too. I'm going to go ahead and put it over my the makeup that I have on right now so you can see. But it comes off looking gray. And most of the, the, the multi-creams, they have, like, a different color in the tube. But once you go ahead and put it on and you actually start blending it, there is this micro-capsule technology in it that bursts and the color starts to change. Like, you see that? Um, so whatever, like, little tiny capsules of color are in there and bursting and are coming out and the color. So this is going to give you a little bit more pigmentation than the EXA um, and also has sunscreen in it, but it is going to feel a little bit more like this product on your skin than the EXA. Like the EXA feels like there's nothing on your skin. Um, so that's why I was really like impressed in that moment. Um, and this is perfect for days that I just want to put something on my skin quickly and not have a crazy amount of makeup. Like if I need to run to the supermarket or run some errands and I don't want to like have a full face of makeup on. Um, this is going to give you a little bit more coverage. Again, it's not going to be a super cakey or super coverage um, like other foundations. Um, but this is perfect because it's also going to be protecting your skin because there is sunscreen on it. Um, so I love this and I love Clay Cosmetics in general. They are a brand that I've been using for like the past year and a half now. And I love their products. Um, so these are definitely going to be two that I recommend now because... Ooh, I'm so impressed by EXA, and I think maybe even combination, they look kind of great, too. Um, this is going to give you a little bit more coverage and sunscreen. This has got its anti-pollution active ingredients in it as well, which is really cool. So depending on what kind of, you know, feel you want to go for, you go for something a little bit lighter. That's a little bit more of a serum. You can serum something that's a little bit more creamier and has a sunscreen um, in it already. Um, so you got, you got this multi-cream. These are both, both perfect options, and they're both under 30 bucks right now, especially with the live stream deal. This was originally $32, and you're going to get it for $27.20 here with live stream. Um, so love this. Been using this forever. First time using this, first impression was I'm blown away. Um, they're both seals in my opinion. Um, all right, so now that I got my foundation off for the most part, I don't like putting on heavy foundation or heavy coverage during the summertime, especially because, like, it's super hot, it's humid, things go running and go awry, um, and we wear masks, so I try not to put too much on. Um, and I like seeing my natural skin come through and breathe, um, hence why I don't put too much, but I'm just trying to blend everything out. Just using a, a flat brush. I used to use brush up sponges a lot, um, but lately I've been using my hands or like these flatter cell brushes. What do you guys use? Comment below and like let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Like what kind of um, do you use? Do you apply foundation with your fingers, your face products with your fingers, or do you use sponges or special brushes? Let us know. Let's, sh let's share in the chat and learn from each other as well. Um, okay, so I'm trying to pull up as quickly as I can because I usually take my time when I do my makeup, but we don't have all the time in the world today. Um, and I want to make sure that we get to through at least some of the products that I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and color correct my eyes right now quickly. I usually always color correct my eyes. I don't have one that I can recommend today. I'm actually testing out a product for another brand. So I can't really share about that just yet. Um, but this is actually a color correcting serum that I'm using. Um, let me put it on my fingers. That's just easier. And... Um, if I do find a good one, I will definitely share it here with you guys. Um, but I haven't found something yet here on Berry Shop that I have tried out yet. So I need to do that. I haven't actually intentionally looked for one. But I always color correct around my eyes because I can get pretty dark around my eyes before applying any kind of concealer. Because I feel like it just um, it attracts the grayness and the darkness around my eyes before I put my concealer on. Because I feel like when I put my concealer on without doing that, it can look kind of like weird or like give me it like a gray finish, which isn't the best look. Um, so I always color correct. And if any one of you like struggle with hyperpigmentation, 
um, you understand too. I always color correct those areas as well. I get hyperpigmentation around here. And that's just when your skin is like a bit gray or a bit darker and dull. Um, so color correcting around my eyes. And the concealer that I've, I've been using lately um, and I've been loving is actually this Wander Beauty one. 